how's it going everyone? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so in today's video, one of my subscribers, well Gary, I, I hope you're subscribed to be honest with you, because if you're not, I'm probably going to kill you, but uh, asked for a video lesson on this song, because I don't know, all my other vi videos have like 20 views and this one has like 2000 or something, it's crazy. Um, I'm very humbled by it all, but Gary C asked for a video and I had to play this song, so... That's what I'm gonna do. Um, Gary, you said in your comments that you're an absolute noob at guitar. Now, all I can really do is, is take you on your word for that, but, but the problem is that anyone in my experience who says they're an absolute noob at guitar can actually play it no problem. So I don't know I don't know how in detail I should go with this video. So I think with this one I'm gonna just do like the bare bones of the song and some some of like the like the key licks in it or whatever and then if you I think I think if if you walk away with that from this video like like you'd probably be able to pick the rest of it up handy enough anyway. Uh if not I can always do another video on the outro solo in particular and like all the different little parts of that but I think if I give you like the bare bones of the song for now I think that'll be good. So um I'm gonna just start with the with the intro the intro is pretty much the, the chords for the verse throughout the entire song. Uh, it's D minor, F major, C, D. I'm so sorry, let me just tune up here. Um, but, that's the annoying thing about these strats. They seem to go out and shoot so easy. But, uh, yeah, if you... edit that out but uh yeah i'm gonna just assume you know them chords uh, and anyone who's watching the video knows the chords if not like you can pick it up there i'm not gonna it's d minor f that didn't sound very nice f c d minor okay so the chords the the riff is all it's all down strokes, it's not It's all down strokes and um, one thing I do in particular is say the first couple of down strokes I might only hit like the the D maybe the G. It's like Yeah, so and then maybe on the like the third one is when the full chord comes in that like that makes it sound like closer to Rory Gallagher's version than anything else um, and I'm playing all the other strings when I'm doing that I think but like they're all just kind of like muted it's like cuz like it sounds a little flat if you just go So it's kind of like there's a bit more life in it when you kind of like have the other strings muted while you're doing this. So that little lick part there is the only other real part of the riff and the verse or whatever. And it's all just, it's just really a C chord. So if you're legit a total noob at guitar, Gary, then maybe you can... Uh, just play a C chord over this, but the lick itself is pretty easy. It's if I can get right the first time, that'd be great. But it's um your ring finger is gonna be on the A string of the third fret, and your middle finger is gonna be on the second fret of the D string, and it's gonna go. gonna go third third fret A string open D string and then open D string again but you're gonna do a hammer on and then you're gonna play the open string again so really slowly it's and 
And then the last little part of that lick is just your back on the third fret of the A string. And you're going. So really slowly, it's going to go like this. And then that little bit alone, if you have that part of it, you can already play like like 70 percent of the song i'm gonna say because even all the solos all the solos and the little like breaks in between the different song parts or whatever they're all over that chord sequence anyway um so if you can get that alone you've got a good part of the song so the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the I'm going to skip that for a minute. I will I will do them parts a little later on in the video, but I think I'm just going I'm going to give you the I'm going to give you the verse and the chorus chords now. So if you're comfy with them you can then go on and learn these other parts of the song because the solo parts this is actually a nice one if you're someone who's just getting into like lead guitar or whatever this is a nice one to get into because the entire solos they're all kind of like built around the same sort of idea i suppose if you want to call it that but uh as i said i'm gonna just i'm gonna give you the chorus for now and then after this part i'll go back and i'll, I'll do like a couple of them parts and as I said, I think maybe the outro, I might leave that for another video if you want it. But, um, yeah, so the chorus is C. So, you'll notice this C is different to that C that we had earlier on because... It's a bar chord. Um, I don't know what you're like with bar chords. Um, basically, basically, with this one, what you're doing is your index finger is going to literally act as a bar across the third fret. And then it's, it's in the A shape. So the best way I can... The best thing I can tell you to do here, I think, is if you're not familiar with it, get into the caged system, look that up. Maybe I can do another video on that. But basically, the caged system is where you have your basic chord shapes, C, A, G, E, D, and you can play them anywhere on the fret and make, uh, make another chord. So in this case, we're in the shape of A, and we're bringing it down here. And we're making a C chord, but I don't play my bar chord like that when it's in the A shape. I don't know anyone who does. Uh, it's easier. It might seem harder, but trust me, it's definitely easier to just use your ring finger as like a bar across these three strings, and then that way you, you kind of have less work to do with the index finger because all you really have to do is have it on the A string you can you can you can have it on the high E either like sometimes I do that sometimes I just mute, mute it out because you don't really need that note to create the chord anyway so if you're someone who's actually struggling to do the bar that's that's kind of like the advantage of it that if you are muting this out it, like it still sounds right so it goes you go So it's down, down, up, down, and then this is one, it's just one down, and this is a G chord. Um, again, I'm, I'm assuming you're a total noob, so that's why I'm going really slow with these parts. Uh, for all I know, like you can know bar chords and you can know your different chord shapes or whatever, and this could be a total waste of time, but I'm going to assume you don't. Uh, so this is just going back to that cage system, like, 
briefly butchered an explanation about a couple of minutes ago. So you have your E shape, and then you go F, F sharp, and now you're on G. But I never play in this E shape. It's very seldom I'll play like the full the full bar chord. I'll only I'll only do it like this if the song if it really really needs it. But in this case, I'm doing what I haven't I don't know if I've ever seen Rory like a video of Rory doing this live. But I can only imagine he played his his uh, power chords or his bar chords like this and not actually barred them. So what I'm doing here is. I'm using my index finger for the B and the E string and then I have my middle finger oh, sorry that's on the third fret by the way and I have my middle finger 4th fret G 5th fret D on the 5th and then I'm using my thumb to reach over and hit the bass note and as you get into like lead guitar and whatever you'll find that a lot of the great players like Page and uh, Hendrix was renowned for it. Rory, John Frusciante, uh, Noel Barry, they all play their chords like this. So that's what we're gonna go with for this video, uh, Gary. Now, so it's down, down, up, down, G, down, 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 down. So this chord here. I feel like I don't need to explain too much. It's a B flat. It's the exact same as this C I taught you, and then you slide it down here. Sorry about that. Um, so that's your that's your bread and butter of the song, like. With with them parts alone, you can play the entire song, but obviously, like, I imagine you want a bit more than that. Uh, so I think what I'll do is, as I said, I'll show you like the main little. I'll show you that little lick, and the the other little bit later on in the song is that exact same thing. But it's just what's called a higher octave, which basically means it's it's the same note, but it's a higher sound, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. My, my music theory is a bit limited, uh, but that's basically what it means. So, so I'm going to teach you this part here. So it's all it's all in this kind of position and I'm guessing I don't I don't know it's it, it's 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 a pentatonic I'm guessing uh, I'm not actually certain on what what the scale is or whatever um, I'm not. I'm not good at that stuff. <laughs> but uh but basically what he's got here is So you're starting on the seventh fret with your ring finger on the G string and you're going So you're doing a pull off down to the fifth and then you're going back down on the seventh fret. So So after that, you then go to the 6th fret of the B, and then you do a hammer on to the 8th, and then you do a bend. Uh, I don't know how comfortable you are with bending, uh, what I'd say is it's something that you just need to practice. Uh, the trick when you're bending is... You need to just bend it straight up 
straight up to where you want want the sound to go and just keep it there that's that's the part you need practice and even that last little bend that i done there i don't know if you noticed but it kind of died a little at the end like like see that one was more like that was the note i was reaching for but it was, it was close enough to it anyway but i think one of the ones now i'm exaggerating it but the one i done before that was like you see the way like I couldn't I didn't hold the note and it it just sounds flat and it sounds dead. So that's that's the real trick to bending. So if you're not familiar with the concept of bending, what I'd do is literally Well, learn this lick I suppose is a nice one to start off with, but the note you're bending here. You're bending to here. So that's the note you're looking for. So that's called bending up a step. So So if you just practice going and then you you come down to the tenth fret just to make sure like in your head that you know it sounds right. So just have that in your head and just literally practice reaching for that and like feeling how high up you're bending to get to that point. So I'm gonna stop shiting on about bending now because again I don't know, you could know it for all I know. Um So the next little part there is when you, you bend up here, you 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 give it another pick and bend back down to the eighth fret. And then and then you play it on the B string on the sixth fret. And that's an upstroke, so So up to that point, it's it's been all downstrokes because there's because like there's a bit of a break between actually picking a lot of notes because you got a lot of bends and hammer ons and pull offs. So I think I think that's all downstrokes and it, it kind of sounds a little more energetic that way. But once you come here, it's an upstroke. And then from from there on onwards, you're kind of like doing what's called alternate picking, which is where you're just going up and down, up and down, up and down. So. Now you're going five, six. Five hammer on six and then like immediately a pull off afterwards so that's gonna go and then you finish where you pretty much started anyway which is on the seventh fret of the G string with your ring finger and that's that lick so it's the intro to the song if you remember is the verse which we talked about. Sorry, dude, I absolutely butchered that, but you get the idea anyway. Um the only other thing I'm really doing there is kind of like bits of vibrato but I'm not gonna explain that because it's a little hard for me to explain like that's just kind of feel really that I'm doing it just kind of feels right I suppose it's any time it seems like there's a little break in hand movements or whatever I'll, I'll do a little bit of a vibrato which is literally just I suppose giving this string a little shake if you want to call it that while you're still pressing it down just to just to give it a kind of like a vibrato effect like the, the the note is like ever so slightly shifting up and down it's not enough to make it like a bend but, but you can see the way you can you can kind of like hear that say i just play it there do a little vibrato 
it's like it's like it's 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 like the the note was moving, I suppose. Uh, and that's just something I do during the solos and that when when I kind of have a feel for it. I don't. I don't know exactly. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just what I'm hearing because it is actually what Rory's doing. I'm not, I'm not certain on that, but it just, it, that's just kind of feel for me more than anything else. But uh, that's just, I just wanted to briefly explain that because if you do get to the point where you're playing that up to speed with me, and it sounds a little different, that's probably one of the things that's different is that you might be just playing it, but I'm going. You know, um. Okay, ignore that. Um. So then, he, he goes through that, and then like a bad penny, you. He does a verse, and then what he does then is he plays that intro riff again, but it's. In that higher octave I told you about. So it's down here and you're on. You're using the same strings. You're literally just up. What is this? 12 frets you're up I think. Um, 19. Yeah you're starting on the 19th fret now. So it's literally the same thing. Just up 12 frets. And as I said. It's literally. like You literally translate what you're playing up here. To down here and you have it. I don't actually know the words. And then what he does is another verse, and then I think he goes into another solo. Um, I think he go he goes into another solo before he goes into the chorus, if I remember correctly. Uh, and the next solo is this riff idea again. So it's and then he plays it one more time in the higher octave. So I, I'll quickly go through that uh, that little part with you there, and then I think I'll, I'll leave it at that because, as I said, I don't know, I don't know how advanced you are, like Guitar Gary or whoever else may be watching this video. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to just throw in that outro solo. Not that there's a whole lot more to the outro solo, but it's just if if all this that I'm doing and this lead part here. If that's all new, like unfamiliar territory to you, then I don't, I don't, I don't want to overload you with the solo in one video. And um, for all I know, I, I could be already doing that anyway. But I'll show, I'll show you this part at the end, and then we'll just wrap it up with that. So it's. So the next part then is. So you've got your middle finger. On the 19th fret. And then you're bending your ring finger on the B string. Up up a step. So the 20th of the B string. So you bend up. And then you bend back down. But you pick it. And then you go down a step. To your, your index finger. On the 18th fret, and then you come back here and bend back up the step. So it's and then what you do is I don't know how well you can see that it's gonna it's kind of hard for me to get an angle there that makes it crystal clear, but you should be able to pick it up. What I'm doing is I'm a uh, Bend in, back up with the ring finger on the B string, 20th fret. 
and then I'm putting my pinky finger on the E string 20th fret. And then that's like a little lick I'm doing where I go. Where I'm basically like bending up and then hitting the E string. So you're like bending up a total of three times there. And then in between each bend, you're hitting the the pinky finger. So all in all, I'll go over it slowly. It's So that's that little pair. And the only other thing is sometimes I like to when I get to the part where I've hit that pinky sometimes I like to kind of like give the pinky one a hit as well, the high E string a hit when I'm bending back up after that. Because that just kind of gives it a little bit of character when when you kind of when you can hear that pinky ring as well. It just it gives it a little character. Whether that's what Rory's doing or not, I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't listened to the song closely since since I uh, since I done the video that time. Um, I've just been busy. I, I haven't thought of actually listening back closely, but um, I can't. I, I just can't remember if I was actually hearing that or if that was just something I was doing myself. Um, but that's that part so and then you bend once more and then you have you have your index finger on the 18th fret and then you kind of do like a hammer on and a pull off and then straight away you you bring your index back to the seventeenth fret. And then you play your middle finger on the eighteenth. And then you do another one of them hammer on pull off things with these fingers. And then you bring it onto the G string on the nineteenth fret with your ring finger. And then the last part of this little solo is 17, 19 on the G, 18 on the B, and then and then it finishes on 19 dot the G. Uh, and this little pick, bit here, I do all alternate picking, so it's down, up, down, up. Um, you could do economic either, which basically means, uh, basically means that you economic picking is like where you're picking the direction you need to go next all the time. So rather than you just constantly going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. In this case, you'd probably go down, down, up, then. You could go up or down with this one because it's the last note, and it'd technically still be economic. But I think I think it's alternate with this one. Um, but yeah, so I play that part really slowly. The I'll do I'll do that whole like solo part. Um, I'll try to keep it keep it slow.
sorry about the jump there. Um, uh, I ended up getting pulled pulled aside or something, but that's that's that part slowed down, anyways. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave it at that. As I said, I don't really want to go into the outro with you. Um, I think I'd, I'd probably rather just do a separate video on that in itself. Um, but like the outro part is kind of like based around them same ideas anyway so so uh anyway let, let let me know in the comments if you want me to do the outro or if there's any other rory gallagher songs you want me to do or any other songs in general um but yeah thanks for watching uh hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe gary I'm fucking looking at you subscribe man um if you haven't already and yeah thanks for watching so so sorry.